Number nine from the 2016 Advanced Higher Maths. There we go, six marks for an integration by parts. Haha, <laughs> we like them, don't we? Oh, yes. First thing to decide is which you're going to differentiate, which you're going to integrate. Now, you're not going to try and whittle them down, that would just be ridiculous. You don't know how to integrate that anyway easily, so it's going to have to be differentiate that and integrate that. Right, integration first, so that would go up to power 8, divide by 8, and that would just stay as it is. Minus the integral of, that's been done, so that's an eighth of x to the 8. Now integrating this function of a function, sorry, differentiating that function of a function would be 2 times the thing itself to power 1, multiplied by the derivative of that inner function, which is 1 upon x dx. I just need to tidy this lot up. So I've got 1 eighth of x to the power 8 times ln x squared. Then take bits out and simplify this. Well, 2 times an eighth makes a quarter. So I can take that constant out, a quarter of. That x will knock that back down to a 7 again. And I'm just left with ln x dx. So we're getting somewhere because that's now simpler than it was to begin with. That plan seemed to work, so we just keep doing that. Differentiate that part, integrate that part. First, you've got to keep writing this down. 1 eighth of x to the 8, ln x squared, minus a quarter of, right, start again. So, integrate first, back up to 8, divide by 8, and leave me alone. I've been done. So it carries forward. Now differentiate that and look, it just pops down to 1 over x dx. Tidy it up. Right, this part here is going to be minus 1 upon 32. These numbers are getting bigger in the denominator. And that's of, I need to borrow some of your space, x to the 8 ln x. Look at all these common factors and things. Lovely. Plus, plus 1 over 32, the integral of, now that knocks that back down to x to the 7 dx. I'll just keep you contained. Finally, we've got to keep writing all this out over and over again. And this part will pop into 1 upon 32 times. And that will be back up to x to the 8, divide by 8, and a b plus c can eventually show its head. I think the only factorisation I'll do here is just taking out those x to the 8s. So taking out x to the 8, that would leave you with this. An eighth of ln x squared, 1 upon 32 times ln x, and at the end it's just plus 1 over 256 plus C. So there we have it. Unless of course you did want to take out the worst of the fractions and if x to the 8 over 256 times then that would go to 32 lots of ln x squared. That would go to 8 lots of ln x and that would just be 1 plus C. Oh, maybe that does look better after all. Notice you've got a wee quadratic in ln in here that could have been factorised if you had propitious coefficients. But obviously that with a 64, but take away 4 times 32, you've got a negative discriminant, so it's not going anywhere very fast.